his parents in the Houston area on the night of December 13th, a trip that was mysteriously cut short. The Caldwell County Sheriff's Office says a volunteer firefighter found Landry's abandoned car on Salt Flat Road in Luling, and after weeks of searching, they found no sign of him. Data from Landry's cell phone shows he left his apartment in San Marcos around 11 p.m. on the 13th. He was pinged, traveling along Highway 80 multiple times. Landry stopped using the navigation app Waze around 1125 as he entered Luling and switched to Snapchat. That is when his digital footprint ended. 67 minutes later, his car was found. So what happened during that time? Investigators believe Landry crashed his car after overcorrecting on a gravel road, hitting two trees and a barbed wire fence. When his car was found, the headlights were on and the keys in the ignition. There was no blood in the car. About 900 feet from the crash site on the road, a DPS trooper found Landry's backpack. They say his wallet, laptop and a small amount of marijuana were inside. The next morning at an impound lot, his father found Landry's cell phone in the car. His father then went back to the crash site and found some of his son's clothing. He turned them over to investigators who found a single blood smear. They believe that was caused by a cut Landry got from the barbed wire or tree branches. Investigators don't know why he removed his clothes when it was very cold out between 36 and 43 degrees, but they don't believe he did so under duress or threat. Now authorities are testing the marijuana to see if it was laced with something hallucinogenic.